First, in order to set the value of the O currency and provide a real-time exchange rate of the coin with all other currencies, we need to know in real time the average price of one liter of drinkable water sold separately. To do so, we will use online bots that will monitor online water pricing, as well as users who will randomly be picked by the blockchain to perform a measurement by submitting a picture in a retail store or to validate a previous measurement. At this point, the blockchain will be able to provide real-time exchange rate of O coins with all currencies based on the average price of one liter of water sold separately. Second, we need to control the stability of the value we defined in the step anterior. So, we need to observe exchange rates between the O coins and other currencies. Again, to do so, we'll use online bots and offline measurements made by randomly picked users who will be rewarded with coins for posting or validating exchange rates. Now that we have all the needed data, the blockchain can easily determine in real time if the exchange rate observed is different with the rate provided by the blockchain based on water price observation. It can then deduct which currency is stable or not. Third, to help maintain the coins stable in the referential, we will use the very simple human principle that the offender's sanction can be the reward of the offended. In other words, if a currency becomes unstable in his O coin, the blockchain will automatically trigger two sanctions for the offender. First, it will generate new coins equal to the value of the difference in volume and will distribute them in small amounts to randomly picked users, which place the birth's currency is stable. Second, it will ban users whose place of birth's currency is unstable from receiving coins from another coin's instability. The benefits of this system is that both individuals and governments would have interest in keeping the exchange rate to how it is defined by the blockchain to avoid enriching other countries. If an old currency disappears, we will only control that the value of the new coin matches the average value of one liter of water. And the O coin associated to that currency will become universal, exchanging one to one with any other O coins. Our nonprofit focuses mainly on designing the core architecture and protocol of this calibration system. It's open source, 100% powered by users with no central authority, and will soon be available for developers to integrate into their applications. If you like our project, please join our nonprofit association and help us build and promote this human currency. If you've been financially blessed, we are very grateful for any financial donation that can help us create and promote the O coins. If you're a developer in the crypto space, we need your experience and expertise. Please join our team or take some time to review our open source code. If you're an artist or an influencer and wish to organize special events or content to spread the word and raise awareness, we'll be more than happy to help in any way we can. Any questions, comments, feedback? Visit us at o.international or contact us at info at o.international.